Hello, this is Ildron from the CC, and I'm on a call with Cougar Cat 12 Hi. Yes, hi. And by popular request, we did earlier we did our Crashing the Mac video. Now people wanted us to do it with Windows. So we have quite a few versions of Windows here that we can do it with, and we'll either kill critical processes or delete system files to really screw up the system and or crash it. So why do you, why, what do you say we start with Windows 2.0? Sounds like fun. Yes, it does. And, Ooh. yes, this is more of a temporary crash, but it's still fun. So, start up Windows 3.1 here. We'll go full screen for your enjoyment. And here we go. GLaDOS? Yeah, I put that in there. So, we've got uh, the program manager and stuff open here. Um, I don't know where any of the files are. Maybe I gotta... There you go. Go to something there. So, this is what you do. You press Control-Alt-Delete, and it will crash. And we gotta actually do that from... Um, the virtual machine menu here. So I think if you send control out delete, it it should crash. This. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so if you That's press the key funny. to continue, you can continue using the system. Let's try and delete some stuff. Oh, I don't know if I want to delete anything because I don't have a backup snapshot of this. Oh, oh well. <laughs> we'll we'll save that for XP. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, and you know what to do with that one because you've done it a few times. <laughs> All right, so that one's a pretty simple one. If you just want to see a blue screen of death. Uh, Windows 4.1 or Windows 98 Second Edition has a fun way. Oh, of you have it. Plus. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mm. Oh yeah, I gave you a fixed version. Yes. All right, so it should be calling up the login screen any moment here. Just press Escape. We'll just press Escape to bypass the password. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Does that say my world's hardest game? Yeah, someone uh, sent me that. I, it actually ran in Windows 98, I think. I'm not really sure. Huh. So this is a pretty easy one to do. It's temporary, but if you want to see a blue screen, you can see it. In the run dialog box, you type con slash con. There you go. You got a blue screen. You press the key to continue, or you press control to delete. You can cause it to give different error messages like system is busy or the system has become unstable. Press control alt delete. <laughs> yeah, I did that. And now it's like completely stuck here. <laughs> so yeah, that Press it again. I did. Here, let me do send control delete. Uh nope, not doing anything. Oh, there. System oh, is busy. Oh, system is busy. There you go. Press the key to continue. And No, oh, it broke. <laughs> it's like totally locked. <laughs> So, we'll just, uh, oh, now we got a warning. warning. <laughs> See, <isn't, laughs> that's just hilarious. Oh, a full screen warning. So, we'll just do a shutdown on that. <laughs> so, that's Windows 98. Now, we can get into deleting some things in Windows XP. And this, I actually use for some testing. So, I, I might want to make a snapshot quickly. Um, take snapshot, I'll call it Win XP backup and it should create that I don't know how long it'll take oh wow that was fast oh really is that it I don't know oh, oh. maybe it's because you have VMware tools yeah it could be it oh well if I need to reinstall it I can alright so <laughs> we'll start this that's up that's always fun yeah I know we'll start this up and Kugo knows the commands we'll use to delete certain files. I mean, first we're going to delete the fonts directory, which won't crash the system, but it'll make it really weird looking. <laughs> I'll tell you that. However, if you delete, for instance, like on a Mac, in the Mac OS, if you delete the fonts directory, uh, you log into the system and it will crash and put you in a loop. I, I don't know if it does that in modern systems, but I tried it on Panther, and it just logs in, logs you out, logs in, logs you out, and it'll keep doing that until you shut down the computer or your or your house like runs out of electricity or the end of the world comes. <laughs> but basically, it's just a loop. All right, and I'll let the screen resolution change since it's running a 2560 by 1440 resolution on a <laughs> small screen. There we go. Okay, oh, so... Yeah. So we'll go into the command prompt, and I believe we just... Uh, what's the directory for fonts? Is it in System32, or what exactly? Is it um, a... I don't know. Oh. I might want to check. Yeah, I might want to check. Let's do a uh, search here. Let's go to my computer and take a look where this is. I think I know. I think it's just in the Windows directory. I think it's just a C Windows fonts. 
That's my I guess. I think you're right. Yeah. And Yep, okay. All right, fine. So basically what we'll do is I wouldn't do that from the command prompt. You wouldn't? Yeah, I'll just go into the fonts folder. All right. It just it's more cool to do it with the command prompt. I could couldn't I just use Dell or will that not work? Hey, you could try it. All right, let's try Dell. I'll just do Dell for delete space. So you can learn some stuff from this too. It's educational. <laughs> and as soon as the back button unfreezes, I'll plop the folder in. There we go. So <laughs> drag that into there and then Wait, press... does that? Never knew that. Oh, yeah. You can just drag things in there. Press Y to confirm, enter, and access is denied. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, That's a problem. Yep. <laughs> so what do you want? Control A, shift delete? Yeah. All right, I might actually... I don't have a delete key, so I'll just do shift and press it from the menu. And hit Wait, delete. you don't have a delete key? Well, it's delete as in backspace. Like, it's oh, this kind yeah, of delete. It's still different than what Windows interprets it as. All right, so I got a blank error message here. <laughs> which is he probably because I deleted the fonts or something. I don't know. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Um... Uh, <laughs> Let's reboot now, because that's probably a good time. <laughs> that never happened to me. Well, 26 <laughs> days left for activation. You might want to get that checked out. Yeah, I might want to take care of that. All right, so now we're rebooting the system. Like I said, this doesn't crash anything, but it makes the system, like, unusable. Unless you can read nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if you memorize where all the buttons are and everything, you're good to go. Yeah, but who wants to do that? Yeah, who's got that kind of time? Seriously. All right. Open CMD. All right. CMD. All right. Type in at, and All then right. the 24 hour time in like two minutes after now. Okay. So that would be 2138. Okay. Space slash interactive. All right. Space. Uh, and put CMD.exe in quotes. Okay. Quotes. And um, you're probably checking the team viewer session, so you know I'm doing this right. Yeah. All right. Um. Hit enter. All right. And it says added a new job with job ID one. Yeah. Wait till another uh, command prompt window opens. Will that happen in the two minute mark that we set, or something yes. else? Yes. Okay. It will. All right. So as you can see here, I don't know if you can see this on video here but some of the fonts are really messed up like things on the desktop are bolded and the titles are bolded and the taskbar items are bolded and the star menu is a question mark so, <laughs> <laughs> but these fonts I believe this is just the standard system font which we couldn't delete yeah. that's why you're still going to get that yeah that's uh, not much of a start button anymore yeah, yeah it should execute in one more minute oh there it goes alright yeah just kill explore alright let's get the task manager open here and go to processes and get Explorer and end process. Okay, now what do you want? Now to do? go into the uh yeah, go into there and type just type explorer.exe. All right, enter. Yep. And now it's logging you into the system account. Oh goody! I think I tried this once a long time ago, just for fun. I saw a video like how to do this on YouTube, but too long ago for me to remember how to do it. All right, so now we got the actual start button that doesn't say question mark. And System! Yeah! <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the fonts directory there. Yes, these files are hidden, but I want to see them. All right, so fonts, it should do that, and we should be able to shift-delete these. Yes. Crap! Yeah, Um. you have to delete everything inside of the folder. It said they were required by Windows and cannot be deleted, the folder Well, itself. obviously. Well, yeah, I know. Okay, so now they should be gone. All right, there's the question mark again. Oh, see, all programs is now a bunch of gibberish. I booted. it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, it added itself back. All right, uh, just rename the system font.
RDC, okay. RDC colon slash S slash Q. Okay. Who's M1? That's uh, the guy from Russia. Oh. Hmm. Alright, so RDC colon, then it's slash S slash what? Um, Let me... Q. Uh, it's capital S, capital Q. Okay, so capital S, capital Q. Oh, this looks something like... This looks more successful, but it says... Oh, runtime error, Visual C++ library. Put it in the full <laughs> screen, I guess. It's cannot, deleting stuff. It says it can, the process cannot access the file because it is being used by another process. I think some stuff got deleted, though. Yeah, um, it's, it's still going. I mean, it's just loading. <laughs> and I couldn't go full screen because I got that nice error message, but now I did, so... That's awesome, I guess, there. Yeah, this might take a while, but... It, oh, wait. It looks like folders are being deleted here. Or am I just seeing things? Um, yeah, stuff is being deleted. Oh my gosh, it's all disappearing! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? That's hilarious. I know, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, I, I pressed F5 to refresh the window, but that also opened my launch pad. That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Access is denied. It's in, like, a wave thing. Try rebooting it. Should I just reboot it right now, you think? Yeah, yeah, try it. Alright, let's give that a shot. There was, a lot of, there was a lot of access denied things for the system directory, so I don't know if we'll get the result we want. Yeah. Oh, oh well. what the? That was weird. That looked like a crap. Yes! Oh, nice! We killed the bootloader. That's the bootloader. <laughs> All right, so for the grand finale, which this one is like what I mentioned earlier, it's kind of like the built-in crashing function of Windows 7 here, and that's what we'll show you for the last part of crashing Windows. All right, so this one's a fun one to do. And it's pretty simple as well. Basically, if you just uh, open up the task manager, which is what we'll do here if this thing ever loads. So, yeah, it's not loading right now, so we'll give it some time. Or it is loading, it's just not loaded. Alright, we'll start the task manager. We will go to processes, show from all users. And let that refresh. All right, csrss.exe. We'll go to end process. Check this box and press shut down. And there you go. Fun. All right. So if you just want to have a little bit of fun with that, you can do that. And quite simple. No damage will be done to your computer. Of course, it will say it restarted from like a hard shutdown. Unexpected or shutdown. Yeah, unexpected shutdown. That's what it says. But there's really no damage at all done to the system. It even says blue screen if you hit more details. Yeah, the area. Yeah, why don't we show that? Yeah, we'll show that. It is called a blue screen, so we will show that. Let me uh, get the restart menu open, which I can't from here because I guess I disabled that. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we're waiting for an error message. <laughs> I guess it's not showing up now, but the point is it, it would normally say that, so... Hope you enjoyed the crashing, you know, basically went over quite a few major versions of Windows from 2 to 6.1 and whatnot. 6.1. Yeah, 7. Just addressing my version number. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed this. Maybe learned something, if you can imagine that. I mean, <laughs> there are some things new in here. I learned something, that's a fact. So, that's about it, and we'll see you later. Bye! <laughs> Okay, so it just so happens to be after we stop, of course, the air <laughs> shows up. But, yeah, that that's it. So I can show you, if you go to View Problem Details, it does say Problem Event Name, Blue Screen, as an intercapitalized word. So that is the formal name of it. It is a blue screen.